Olivia Proya tonight looks at a new study that shows vaccines are still our best protection. It's kind of telling us that, that what we've been doing has, has been working. The largest U.S. COVID-19 vaccine study to date shows continued effectiveness of vaccines. We're talking 9 million people. So it's one of the largest studies of its type. Really, the critical message from this paper is that even though our vaccines are not perfect, they do a pretty good job in preventing severe disease. This study, conducted by the New York State Department of Health, shows that vaccines efficacy when preventing COVID hospitalizations remains high, despite the vaccines decreasing efficacy against infection. The efficacy for infection decreased a lot more than the efficacy for hospitalization. The study found modest declines in those 65 and above when preventing against hospitalization. And that decreased vaccine efficacy against infection isn't necessarily due to waning immunity. When Delta showed up, vaccine efficacy decreased. They felt that the decrease in vaccine efficacy was largely due to Delta, in part due to our behavior with decreased mask use, an increase in behaviors that put individuals at risk for infection, and less so with the waning of the immune response from the vaccines. Both doctors say the key takeaway from this study is that if you want to stay out of the hospital, take the COVID-19 vaccine. It is reassuring in that it tells us even though vaccine efficacy may decrease over time, its protective effects against severe disease and hospitalization are still really pretty good. And if more people don't take the vaccine... Uh, we may get to a, po a point that you get sick, you can't go to the hospital, you're going to have to stay home. And that's not what you know, this country was designed to kind of take, you know, handle, which is not good. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.